Hey everybody, welcome back. So it's the first day of teacher week right before school starts and I'm super excited to be back. I've already been working in my classroom and I can't wait to kind of give you a sneak peek of what's going on. Mind you, it is still like kind of in shambles in some areas, especially the library, um, but there are some places that I do want to give you a sneak peek on. So stay tuned. Okay, so I'm outside of my room and I wanted to do a sneak peek. I'm um, kind of like walking in. So the very first thing that anybody sees next to my room is this parent board. It says the future is bright and I'm going to get closer to it. I'll have, um, let's see, it says please take or, and then I have the Spanish version. I'll probably put up a, just a weekly note over there. Same for these. So I'll probably switch these out. And of course, I'll always have the English and the Spanish version. And so I, these I got from Target. Um, that banner and that fluffy poofy thing was all Target. But the border and the paper I got from Lakeshore. Okay, so let's go inside. The first board is the Cub of the Week. So every week we choose a kid that's Cub of the Week and I'll I'll probably post a picture of them each week and I'll write a little something about the kid. Let's walk in. I have a blank board and I usually put schedules, reminders for myself, anything that I need. And then at the very bottom you'll see our word list. And I'm missing one and I'll probably have to do something to kind of put that one on there. Okay, so let's look at the mess that I've created. I have my U-shaped table right as you walk in. Right now it has my purse and a bunch of papers on it that I need to file. A lot of it is from last year that I just kind of dumped on this table that needs to be organized. And then if you look inside, I have this like um, storage space and I'm pregnant and so everything at the top is our stuff that I'm not going to be using this year. But I made sure that everything I will be using is very accessible. So if you look here, I have my poster boards for any science projects, extra bins, and I have a bunch of books that need to be organized, but I just, I'm going to prioritize and I'm not going to be able to have time to do that this year. Next, I have a bin just for party supplies, and inside I have paper plates, forks, um, and then I even have some decorations that I need to organize somewhere else. I have teacher manuals, some extra pencil boxes for kids, and then some file folders. And then I have my games for like fun days. And then I have all of these folders that I eventually need to label. And some of them are completely empty, like these at the end. And so I still have to organize some of them. So going up, I have plastic bin or plastic bag bins, science supplies. And right now I don't have much. I have some stuff that I know, like I know for sure I'm gonna be doing stuff with those. And then I have art supplies and then my baggies. And then going up, I have more math resource books. And these are all my books. Anyway, so I have holiday gifts for students, end of year gifts, and then I have frames that I got from the Dollar Tree for Mother's Day gifts. I like to do a special project with those. So I'm pregnant and so I'm not going to have time to go to the store. I'm going to be so tired. So I bought them pre, like at the very beginning, so I can have them all set and ready. Okay, going around, I have my board that's still not organized to my liking. I have the depth of knowledge, levels, Bloom's taxonomy, uh, Bloom's digital taxonomy, my sm oh, very own teacher smart goals, and the calendar. Okay, stepping back from there, I have this will you unlock the next word list. These lists are numbered. So each was so the students are kind of tested on the words if they can read the entire list They go on to the next list and so that's all how I'll have them go up the list um, And the kids get so darn excited I have a color printer and a bunch of other papers. I need to file this bin is going to be just for student files so 
I need to get that started. So I use these books for small groups. And then down below are more papers I need to file. It's a mess. I know. Some books I need to um, put away. And more books. So I really like this kind of command center I've created in this corner. Last year all of these pieces were like all across the, the room. So I had to kind of go and run across. It was really inconvenient. I have my math board. I have my calendar board. And then I have all my supplies, teacher supplies, art supplies, everything here. I haven't labeled them yet. I don't know if I will. I kind of know. Tape, um, like student rewards, dry erase, color pencils, highlighters, glue, extra stuff, pencils. I have so many pencils. Look at in the back. I have even more pencils. And then here I have like labels and stuff. More index cards, labels, mails. And then here I have um, like gift stuff and some of those, what are these called? Oh, you know what they are. The pipes, pipe cleaners. Some other goodies for projects. And then I have my die cut machine up there. I probably will not be using it, but these are the dies for the die cut machine. I have glue. And then these are all the paints, paint brushes, art supplies. So I have a stack of papers on this side. I organize it. I bought all the paper from Lakeshore and I keep it organized. I will not go through this entire thing all year, but who knows? Anyways, so down below I have not much. I think cleaning supplies is too low for me to reach. This has all my camera supplies on there or recording stuff. And then of course, if you're a teacher, if you've seen this before, I love this. Keeps everything so organized. Last year I used this to organize what I was gonna, like my paperwork for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Where is Thursday? Oh, there it is. Um, but I'm gonna do away with that. It wasn't as effective. And then this is all the bins that have kind of stuff all throughout them and I need to organize that. So going around my DRA levels, the students will have goals and then they'll go up the levels and they'll be excited. And then I have bins for group numbers for the different things we'll use in class, so like math journals, interactive journals for science social studies. Um, and the kids don't have their own cubbies, like desk cubbies, so that's why we have them in those bins. That way I'll just say, all right, tables, one, two, three, go get your science journals and they'll go quickly get it and we'll get started. So here's my objectives board. That's where I write the week's objectives and then table tally points. I still need to erase that. And then on this side, you'll see my, my, write, uh, my word wall. I just dry erase, write them in as we go. I like that it's like easy to manipulate, easy to add, easy to take away. Here's my daily schedule. I don't remember which store I bought that from the TPT. Actually, I, I don't remember the ones for this too, but I'll link it in the description box below. So of course we use the curriculum alphabet chart, so that's what we need to use. And then on this side I have my writing section. Let me back away so you could see the entire writing section. So that writing table is for the kids during the daily five or during any time they just wanna write. Um, so they'll come sit down and I still have to add papers and utensils there, or not utensils, but things to write with. Um, and then over here, the kids are gonna, like I'm gonna put up the kids writing uh, in each spot so each kid will have their own spot and I kind of want to do it this like this this year so have uh, let's let me focus that 
So what I'm going to do is put these thumbtacks and then buy a bunch of these clips and then just clip the papers as I go. That way I don't have to staple anything, I don't have to hole punch anything. So that's, I think, the easiest for me. Okay. So writing. Oh, my little Mrs. Davis fell down. I have to put that back up. Anyways, so down here I have a bunch of my math manipulatives. They're not um, organized by what chapters that I use them in, but they're just all the math manipulatives I have. I moved them down here from the closet because I am pregnant and I need convenience. And then the same goes for these uh, uh, treasures books that we read in class. We switch the book, I think, every three or four weeks, and so I put them here so I could be like, so it could be super easy for me to just grab them and go. And here's my adorable chair, so comfy, and my table with my projector. Self-explanatory. I like to keep it clean. Um, and that's my camera equipment for when I film. So that's my Promethean board. It has that little storage piece down below and then the two white boards on either side. So on the very bottom I put markers. I use all of those things on a daily basis so I keep them there. And then here I have my other teacher chair for when I'm reading, teaching, all that good stuff. And then right behind, you'll see all those green baskets. Those I have to put the labels on, so the labels are right here. I just write out the labels. I don't have patience for a computer this year during this pregnancy, so I'm gonna write them out and put, stick them on. So each chapter, each math chapter is gonna have its own bin, and I'm gonna just put all the resources, and a lot of the resources are in this bin, so I have to organize them into the green bins. And then the red books are our treasures books that we read. So here is the board that I'm probably going to be putting up student work. Like, I don't know what type of work, but I'll put that up. And then I have this that the kids use during library time. And then this has our, like, technology stuff in it. And then I have to organize those books. So my library is a hot mess. I have my rug and pillows. The AR... No, I'm sorry, not AR, DRA, they're DRA leveled, so A, B, C, D, E, F, G, um, but everything else, like my, let me just show you, let me just show you, oh my gosh, all of this I grabbed from the closet and I need to organize and put them in these green bins according to the genre, and so that's going to take me, I don't know, like three full days, if not more. So after I complete my to-do list for today, which is my Tuesday top three, after I do all that, the only thing left for me to do are those books. And so that's definitely one of my goals this week. So it's a pretty big space. The kids have lots of room to move around. And then I have these two racks that I don't know exactly where I'm going to place but I do use them often so I'll probably maybe have one in the front of the room and then one in the back of the room and then here is kind of another control center for the students uh, this is where they'll turn in their Tuesday folders their homework folders like their weekly um, and then these two I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to be doing with them and then down here are the supplies that the students that I bought for the students because our school gives us a nice stipend. So I have our pencil boxes, our folders, and our different colored notebooks for interactive journals. So I'll share with you how, what I do with all that later. So that's pretty much it with my classroom. There's still a lot of work I need to do. I'm not going to overwhelm myself because um, that's just not going to do me any good. So I'll take it day by day and I'll create my top three priority list for each day. And then whatever I get to, I get to. Whatever I don't, I just don't. I'm not going to stress out about it. So I try to remember that as back to school season comes and goes, I will try to do my best. But that's about it. So I'll see you next time.